Hey, hope you are doing well today. So today I'm going to do another children's lesson. So I'm going to start off with an activity. The name of today's activity is called Mary and Martha. So what you're going to do is you're going to get with your parents. And for today's activity, your parents, when they say Martha, then you'll be on one side of the room. When they say Martha, then you are going to walk or run. Now, if you're not allowed to run the house, then you walk. But if you are, you can run. So you're going to run to the other side of the room when they say Martha. But when they say Mary, you got to stop real quick. Okay? So, again, when they say Martha, then you're going to run to the other side of the room. When they say Mary, you got to stop. Now, when you get to the other side of the room, then you can go back to the other side. So, Hope you have a great time doing this activity. All right, so for today's activity, it was called Mary and Martha. You might be thinking, well, Justin, why did we do this activity? And why was it called that? Well, today's lesson is about Mary and Martha in the Bible. So we're going to be reading from Luke chapter 10. And we're going to start off with verses 38 through 39. It says, while they were traveling, now this is Jesus and his disciples, and they were traveling. While they were traveling, he entered a village and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary who also sat at the Lord's feet and was listening to what he said. So here we have Jesus and the disciples and they're traveling and Jesus enters Mary and Martha's home. And so what was Mary doing when Jesus came in? That's right. He was, or she was listening to Jesus. She was at his feet just listening to what he had to say and taking it all in and learning from him. And so uh, you could probably uh, imagine, you know, you think about like you're at home and you think about, you know, uh, Mary as she was at her home and just, just sitting on the, maybe just sitting on the floor and just relaxed. And then there's Jesus and Jesus there, just not saying anything, just listening. Now, have you ever done that? Have you ever been at home and maybe you're just sitting on the floor and uh, your parents uh, are there and they're talking to you and you just sat there and just listened? Have you ever done that? Or did you like, have to say something? I got to say something. Um, but Mary, she wasn't saying anything. She was just there just listening. All right, let's read. Read on. Verse 40 and 41. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks. And she came up and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to serve alone? So tell her to give me a hand. The Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. And so now we see Martha. Martha is distracted by many things. So what was Martha doing? Well, Jesus is in her home and she's trying to get things ready. She might be uh, making some food and making sure things are clean. And she's there just, you know, she's probably just running around the house just making sure everything's good. Now you've uh, probably been like this, or maybe your family, you think about during Christmas time, maybe you have family over to your house and, and you're uh, mom and dad are making sure things are just perfect, right? That everything's clean. And maybe they say, hey, you need to go clean your room because we got family coming over and we got to make sure things are nice. And so that's what Martha was doing. She was just make, making sure everything was just great. Um, and she might have been just, you know, like, I got to get this done and I got to get this done. 
But what was Mary doing at this time? Mary was just sitting there listening to Jesus while Martha was running around making sure everything was good. Well, we see that Martha asked Jesus a question. And so let's look at that look at that question again in Luke chapter 10. What does he say? He says, or what does she say? But Martha was distracted by her many tasks and she came up and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has less, left me to serve alone? Oh, so she's saying here, don't you care that, you know, my sister has just left me to do all the chores. I'm doing it all. Hmm. Well, let's see. Then she says, so tell her to give me a hand. Oh, so now she's telling Jesus, hey, tell her to give me a hand, meaning she needs to help me. Okay, maybe uh, let's say that you're at home and uh, again, it's Christmas time. Let's say that and you're getting things, your family's getting things ready uh, for, for people to come over. Maybe you're doing all the tasks and maybe you're like your brother or your sister, they're not helping. Do you ever go up to your parents and go, hey, uh, don't you care that, that my brother, he's not doing anything or my sister's not doing anything to help out? Have you ever done that before? Like, you, you might be thinking, I'm doing all the work. Well, that's what Martha is saying here. Like, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me here to, to serve alone? And then we see in verse 41, it says, the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. Ooh. So the Lord answers Martha, but it's not what Martha wanted to hear. What does Jesus say? Martha, you were upset and worried about many things. We know Jesus, that he is 100% man, 100% God. And he can tell while he's there that Martha is distracted and he knows all things. And so he says, well, Martha, you're worried. You're upset about many things. Now, have you guys ever been worried before? You probably have. Like, I've, I've been worried before. Have you ever been upset before? Yeah, I've been upset before. And so sometimes we get worried and we get upset. We get focused on certain things and it's on our mind all the time. Well, that's not a good thing. And that's what uh, Martha was doing. She had all these things on her mind. She's trying to get all these things ready because Jesus is there at the house. And she's more concerned about that than what Mary's doing. Mary's sitting there listening to Jesus. But Martha wants to get everything just right. Okay? Verse 42 says, But one thing is necessary. Mary has made the right choice, and it will not be taken from her. Oh, now Jesus is saying that Mary has made the right choice. Mary's not helping. Martha's doing all the work. But guess what? She has done the right thing. Because she's listening to Jesus. She's sitting at his feet, taking it all in, letting it all soak in her mind what Jesus is telling her. And here again, what's Martha doing? She's running around, making sure everything's just right. And so here's a question. If Mary's doing the right thing, then the question is for you, are you doing the right thing? You know, sometimes... We can get really busy, right? We can be doing all kinds of things. All these things can be good. Maybe we're doing a lot of things with our, with our family or uh, just doing some extra activities. And, but you know what? We get to the point where it's like, you know what? I haven't prayed today or I haven't read my Bible today. Or it could be you're like, you know what? I haven't gone to church. Now, we know it's different because you guys, uh, you know, you guys are at home watching this video. Or maybe you say, you know what? I'm busy. And I haven't taken time to, to watch this, the Team Fit video. And that can happen. And so that's what was going on in Martha. She was doing all these things, but she wasn't taking time to listen to Jesus like her sister was. 
And so you may, uh, you know, get with your family and you may, you know, pray at night or you may pray in the morning. Uh, you may read the Bible with your family uh, at night or in the morning. And so those times are very important where you take time to read the word. Now, we know that Jesus is not physically here with us like he was with Mary and Martha. But we know as we read the word, we can read about Jesus and we can understand uh, the word. And it will help us in our relationship with him. So make sure that Jesus is first. And that you make sure that you take time to read the Bible. You take time to pray. You take time, hey, to watch this, this video. And also to, to watch the, the worship service as well. Because that's going to help us stay focused on Jesus. So we need to be more like Mary. That we listen to Jesus and we, and we read it, read the word so we can understand. And not like Martha. Now, it's good to do chores. It's good to make sure that everything, we want to make sure the house is nice and we want to work hard. Hey, that's a, that's a good thing. But we got to make sure that Jesus is first, okay, and not all the other things we got to do. We, those things can't be first. So get with your family today, and maybe you take time, and you guys can pray together as a family. Maybe you read uh, through this story again about Mary and Martha, and you can talk about it. So I just want to say that I hope you guys uh, have a great day today, and I will see you next time. All right, so for today's craft, as you can see, I have two puppets. These two puppets are Mary and Martha. And that's what we talked about today in our lesson. So what you're going to do is you can go to TuscanBaptist.org and you can print out the printable that has Mary and Martha. And then once you get them, then you can cut these out. And if you have uh, these lunch bags, then you can glue them to the bag and make a puppet. Now, you might not have lunch bags at home. That's okay. You can get a piece of paper. You can still cut them out and uh, be able to make uh, puppets uh, that way. So, I hope you have a great time doing this craft.